Okay. Uh, let's talk vaping because this is something that you and I have discussed uh, quite frequently. Now there's a, a Melbourne school principal that says it is absolutely out of control uh, and it's a public health menace. Who's doing something about this? Well, we tried and I've got to say we failed. When we were in government, Greg Hunt tried to bring in a prescription model. It hasn't worked. We've got to be honest. And Mark Butler's now going down the same it's path. It's potentially and made the situ that situation are... worse though, hasn't it? A prescription model oh, prohibition it and, and I, it's just exploded in the honest. legal market. Totally. We've got to put our hand up and say what we tri what we trialled didn't work. I'm, I'm brave enough and honest enough to say that. I want better public policy on this, better restrictions that protect children. And I think you need to look at what has worked and what hasn't. When you've got the health minister saying what we're proposing is normalising vapes, I'm sorry, Mark Butler and the Albanese government need to walk the streets. They are normalised already and sadly... They are normalised with children. So what we're saying is let's look at what has worked in terms of a regulatory guide rails. If you look at cigarettes, juvenile uh, cigarette usage is now down to around 2%. Before, we brought in all the, the restrictions around packaging, around contents, around under-the-counter retailing, licensing retailers. Uh, that was significantly higher. So we've got a regulatory model that has been proven to work to protect children. Uh, we need to also understand that we've got to do more at the borders, but with that comes a whole lot of resources where a ABF are really focused in on hardcore drugs and guns. They simply to think that we're going to stop at all at the border is nonsense. We need mm. to look at what has worked for us here in this country and think about how we can protect these children. And we are saying, let's be pragmatic. The nationals have come forward on this and said, let's be sensible. Let's use common sense. Let's look at what has worked. Let's be, let's be honest with ourselves and say, we signed up to something that didn't work. We mm. got it wrong. We're big enough to, to admit that. But we say, let's, let's actually move quickly on this and let's not re repeat the mistakes of the past and look at the regulatory models that have worked for us. Yeah, so you're talking about cigarettes, hike up the, the tax on them, um, make them less sexy, plain packaging, that kind of thing? Oh, yeah, and I think particularly the flavours, the packaging, where they're sold at licensed outlets underneath mm. the counter. I think the the, uh, the excise piece we need to be very careful on, not to uh, not to go too heavy on the excise. We believe Why? as nationals a good way to, to well, well, I think you can then push them into uh, cigarettes uh, and that is cigarette use, and that's what we're trying not to do. We're trying to let's let's be honest. The science on both these products is not good, and, and we don't we don't. Uh, walk away from that. We don't want anyone to smoke or bite, but we've got to understand it's a practical reality they are. Uh, so they're, they're not good for you. That's the scientific basis that we're working from. But if you let the, the excise get too far away from you and becomes competitive with cigarettes mm. uh, or even illegal cigarettes, then you may push people into that. So what we're saying is let's be sensible with the excise. But the excise we do get, the nationals believe that should go into regional health, making sure that regional communities are able to get the, the support and infrastructure they need that we haven't and we're losing at the moment. And so it's important mm. that we use that money and we tie that money to outcomes for health. That's where the nationals have got to. We think that's a common sense solution that will go to address this problem and protect children. Uh, and I think if we think that we're going down, it can go down the same path we had before, we're going to get worse results because it's proven that once children get on it, one in three will transition to cigarettes. So we've yeah. got to protect children, we've got to protect them quickly and look at the regulatory models that have worked and be big enough to admit when we've got it wrong. David Littleproud, always good to talk to you. Thanks so much. Thanks.